Hey everybody, my name is Siberian Hunter. Thank you for stopping by. We're here with a mod showcase, a little quick triple mod, because they're all three relatively short mods. Now, here we have the backpack mod. Alright, to craft a regular backpack, you have just eight leather, kind of like a chest. Backpack works like a chest, a mobile chest. Good stuff. Alright, and you have a big backpack, which is either eight tan leather around a backpack or eight tan leather. Why you do that one, I don't know. But a big backpack is like a double chest. Time. Uh, set day. Okay. It's like a regular chest. Good fun. Alright, now you cannot put a backpack in a backpack. So like if you were to put that in there, it gets thrown out. As for why the inventory is all cluttered, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, so those are the backpack and the regular backpack and how to craft them. Now, that's tan leather, not actual leather. Just so we know that. We'll get to tan leather in a second. Dying backpacks. Take the backpack, take the dye. Bad, dye backpack. Just like wool. Nothing special. The ender backpack is like a regular backpack with an ender chest. This syncs up with the ender chest. As you can see, I put that in an ender chest a while ago. If you want me to prove it, ender chest. Alright, so that's the ender chest, ender backpack. Now, backpacks can go in this one. This one can't get any bigger. But they can go in this one because it would be like putting them in the chest. So, yeah. Alright, bound leather. Which is that. Is made by an Iowa string and two leathers. And you cook the bound leather to get tan leather. And then you use the tan leather to make a big backpack. I guess the reason for doing this around a, a regular backpack would be for... Maybe to save a color that you don't have any dye for us. I don't know. Oh, well, that's the backpack mod. Nice and easy to help give you extra space. Now I have the tree capitator mod. Now we're going to take these axes out real quick. Now what the tree capitator mod does is when you chop down the bottom block of a tree with an axe, the whole tree falls down. Now these trees are one of the worst kind of trees you can get because you can never reach them without climbing up and it's annoying as hell. Now, if we break the bottom block, the whole tree falls. Oh, I need to go on survival to show you how this thing works. Now, the tree mod. Okay, so we're going to real quick go into game mode zero. All right. So now, what it does is instead of just breaking one block, it breaks all the blocks with what you have. Your axe takes all the damage, such as... If we chopped on this one with a wooden axe, the wooden axe will break and the tree won't be fully chopped down because if you had climbed up and chopped it down, you wouldn't be able to chop it down. But if you use something like a, an iron axe, it'll chop the whole tree down. The axe will take a decent amount of damage, but it'll chop it all down. And that's about all there is to this mod. What this does is it, it helps to alleviate the stress of having to chop down a bunch of trees. Allows for a massive collection of lumber and stuff and fun stuff like that. Yeah. Alright, and then the last mod on the table is. I can get over here. Eh. Let's see, inventory tweaks mod. Now, what this does is like, let's say your chest is like this, very unorganized. You have three different options. You can do a regular sorting like this, it'll stack everything and sort it according to something. I don't know. You can do vertical sorting, which puts them in columns, or you can do horizontal sorting, which puts them in rows. I need a double chest. Which, like, we'll put them in rows, put them in columns, all to help sort. Or, what you can do, like, let's say your inventory is like this. If you hit your, your magic button, which normally is R, in this case, minus K, it'll sort it all, stack everything, sort everything all nice and pretty. And then let's take this jungle or oak wood, right? So then we're going to go back to survival. Let's say you're building a house. That's your last one in this stack, but you have more right there. It'll give you your stack to keep building. Which will make it all nice and fun. And now, real quick, with the timber mod, let's say you were to build a tree. One thing the timber mod shouldn't do I don't, is it won't tear down your whole building if you happen to build out of logs. So you are safe on that square with that. But anyway, um, you can edit stuff there. Your sort key, the auto refill, middle click, which will sort your stuff as well. Shortcuts, which enables various shortcuts, I guess. 
a pair of friendly, which is like your tool is just about to break and it'll flip it for something else. You have more options, sound, auto-equipped armor. If you sort with better armor, it'll put that armor on. Sword on pickup. It'll, like, if we click on sword on pickup, and we throw that out there when we pick it up, it'll go straight into the inventory and not clog up those spots. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. You know, when you're trying to get the stuff. Chest buttons, of course, buttons on the chest. Server hack mode. I guess that allows you to turn it on um, server-wise. And you have shortcut mapping stuff, you have sorting rules, files, and stuff. Yep, but that's that's it for this mod. That's it for all these mod mods. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and have it helped you at all, please leave a thumbs up and possibly subscribe for more content from my channel. And I'll see you next time when we're back for more mod showcases. Until then, happy hunting.